uh, the first practice set. All right, so what we're going to do here with this particular recording is we are going to create, um, we're going to work on this exercise, we're going to create the cover page correctly. So here's the process, folks. First of all, I'm in the control center in the landing section of where you open Xactimate, okay? I'm not going to dashboard, I'm going to preferences, okay? And under preferences, I'm going to have a drop down right there for settings. See that? I drop down to profile and I'm going to set up my defaults so that when I open a new project, the correct defaults populate. So the first thing I'm going to take care of is the company header. So I click on the drop down here under administrative defaults under company header. Remember we've gone through this process a few times. I'm just creating a video for you now for this. So click on that. I don't have Frankenstein in there yet, so I have to click on the Add button there. See? So I click on Add. Um, I'm going to call it F-R-A-N-K-E-N-S-T-E-I-N -E -E Frankenstein Insurance Co. And what's going to be a good code for me to use for that? Franken or Frank or something like that. And then I've got the uh, I've got the address there. It's one 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 Monster Mash. Street and T O R E U P Torup, Texas, seven 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 seven. Okay. So now I hit OK. All right. And OK. And you'll see Frank in here under the company header for administrative defaults. Okay. Under the claim rep, I want to make sure I've got the correct claim rep. Remember, this is going to be you in real life, but in this scenario, it's supposed to be adjuster guy. And I already have him in here, so I do not have to add a new claim rep. So I hit OK. All right, so my company header, my claim rep are correct. I've got my training price list. That's correct. My training price list under tax jurisdiction. I've got my base service charges that do not apply. OK, now, the one that a lot of people forget here is under model statements. All right, I've got to go over to model statements. And I got to make sure that I've got the correct model opening statement. So let's take a quick look at it. The one that's on this exercise says this is the generic model opening statement. And save and exit. So that is correct. I've got the correct model opening statement. So just a review before I move on. I'm going and making sure I got my defaults correct for this exercise. Correct company header. Correct claim rep. Correct, mo uh, correct model opening statement correct price list. Now I'm going where? Going to my dashboard and what do I got to do before I open a new project, before I add a new project? I have to name it and in this case we're naming it according to the policy holder uh, and this policy holder is Mr. Basil Cash. so I'm going to name it according to the last name of the policy holder and I click on add new project. Okay. Going to take a second to load. Okay, now here I do not have to just do last name. I can do first name, last name correctly. B A S I L O apostrophe C A S H. And the address 222 all uh, street in Hoops, uh, Texas 33333. Uh, this is, I've got the home number listed in this exercise as 777-777-7777. I've got a date of loss of 5-1 of 2010, so look what I can do. 05-01-10. Uh, See that? I'm going to get rid of my date entered. I don't think I have one here. No, I do. I have 1 p.m. And the... Uh, 05, 01 of 2000, oh, 06, oh, 014 of 2000, 06, 14, 10. Date received here is 0501 oh, of 10, and date inspected is 0514 oh, of 10. 
Now where I'm at, now where am I going? Going to my coverage loss. Claim number here, 87654. Tab down to the policy number. And that's 45678. Okay. Uh, type of loss. Hit T, gets me down to the T's, it's tornado. Now this should be everything I need to do to get the correct information on that cover sheet. Let's see if I'm right. So where do I go to check? I go to print. I go to view. And let's see, Frankenstein Insurance Company with the address, pays a little cash with the home number. I've got the claim rep, adjuster guy with the cellular phone, that's correct. Type of last tornado, policy number, claim number. My dates are correct, price list is correct, estimate name is correct, and the generic model opening statement is correct. So in review, that was a, uh, a review of how to correctly set up your defaults and add basic insured information um, to do this first exercise. So now, I am going to...